What's up everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Kurt adjustable clevis and pintle hook multi-ball mount. So this is gonna have three different ways to hook up a trailer. So one, we can pick between the two balls. So we're gonna have a two inch on top and then a two and five sixteenths on the bottom, but we can switch that around. Just depends on what you're using for the day. But it can also be used with your pintle hook or your clevis connections on your trailers. So you just want to make sure that the pintle hook is going to be around one inch in diameter because that's what this is going to be able to accept. We have a lot of different adjustments that come with this. So we can either have it down like this or we can flip it up to give us a rise. It all just depends on what is best for your specific setup. We really want to tow very level and having all these adjustments is going to be really, really easy and awesome. With our two inch ball, we're gonna have a gross trailer weight of 7,500 pounds and a tongue weight of 750 pounds. But let me pull these pins on the side. And these pins were included, all three of them, to connect it to our shank. So let's flip this around. Like this. Perfect. And then for our two and five sixteenths ball, we're gonna have a gross trailer weight of 10,000 pounds max. And then the tongue weight's gonna be a thousand for that one. One thing that you're gonna have to get with this, so this is only gonna come with your pins, your clips, and the mount, but we're gonna have to grab this shank. So just make sure you add this to your cart because this is what it's designed for. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different holes here to be able to adjust, but just know that you are gonna have to buy this separately. With the shank, we're gonna have a max drop of five inches. The way I calculate that, just go from the top of our shank to the base of our ball. That's about five inches. So that is the max drop that we can have. And if we flip this over, it's gonna give us the rise position, which is gonna be about six inches. And every single hole on the shank is gonna ha is gonna be about an inch and a quarter from center to center apart. So you can deviate from that. So just know your max is about six and a rise position, and your max drop is about five. And then you can use these holes to kind of go in between that to get your trailer nice and level. Both the two and the two and five sixteen inch ball is gonna be made of steel, and they are welded on there, so you're not gonna be able to really replace them and then they do have a chrome finish to them. So they will eventually kind of grind and probably get a little rusty over time. So to kind of limit that wear, you can get some grease and we sell that here at E-Trailer. So just put that in your coupler on the ball just to keep this ball nice and cool and smooth so it doesn't really scratch up over time. For your pencil hook setups, all you gotta do is you gotta back up to it and then we're gonna pull this pin Get it rotated around. Pull that pin. We're gonna go up like this, and then we're gonna back up to it. We're gonna drop it down, and then replace the pin once we're done. So that's all you really have to do for that. Not that difficult at all. It's just crazy that this thing could literally hook up to four different types of trailers, two different balls, the clevis, but also the pencil as well. So I think this is super, super convenient, especially if you are hauling just a bunch of different type of trailers. Now for our clevis hookups, you just want to get it nice and level, of course. That's with all of our trailers. So this is nice and level. And all I had to do is kind of just rotate this around, pull it up, and then you just need to secure it down. That's pretty much it. I mean, this is just an example for you guys, just to let you know that you can use this ball mount with all different types of trailers, small ones, big ones, whatever you got. There are some examples of where we can use this and all the different trailers we can use it with, but here's some other little specs that might come in handy. So from the center of the hitch pin hole right here to the center of the ball, it's about 14 and a half inches, and that's gonna be for the two and five sixteenths and also the two. But then from the center of the hitch pin hole to, I'll say, I'm gonna say just to the center of our little piece here, it's gonna be about, yeah, about 14 and a half inches as well. So that's how much we're gonna have from the hitch of the vehicle that you're towing with to the center of whatever coupler there is. So if you do have 
a couple trailers that have maybe some toolboxes and stuff whenever you turn that's a significant amount of distance which is good so you don't have to worry about jackknifing or hitting your bumper with whatever's on your trailer i like that just because the farther back it is the more of an angle we can get it so a lot of the times i'm in subdivisions and i really have to get in these tight little spots with more distance you can really get a better angle at it so a couple things that you're going to need to buy when you go with this attachment one we're going to have to buy the shank of course two we are going to need to have one pin that goes through here so get a pin and clip i would recommend just getting one that locks because it would literally just take somebody two seconds to pull this and then steal it we like to like we like to think people are honest but some people just have sticky fingers, so definitely get a locking one. But another one that I would recommend getting, you don't have to get it, but I would 100%. I just don't like the rattling, not a fan of that. So we do have a solid shank, so we can't really put a threaded hitch pin in there. What we can do is we made this anti-rattle device. Just goes like that. This goes back and through underneath. And then all you got to do now is just put a washer down on each side. And then once you do that, dropped one, you do one washer, then a lock washer, and then you'll put the nut on just like that. So you heard all that rattling that we had before, but after we put this on and tighten it down and all you need to do that is a 19 millimeter socket so once that is on there and we start to tighten it down it's going to put a lot of pressure on that shank so it's going to push down on that which then puts this down on the hitch receiver and that's pretty solid because it's mounted to your frame so once that's done It's all one solid piece. So do that. I do a lot of mowing in the summer and whenever I'm hauling, I can just hear that because my windows are typically down. It's just something I don't like. It kind of wakes people up if you're at a job site pretty early and it just doesn't really look good or sound good. So if you are using this for a business, you want to make sure you sound professional and look professional. So I would definitely just grab this. It just makes it so much nicer whenever you're hauling. All in all, very simple design. There's no automatic mechanisms or anything, but they do have a lot of adjustments, which I like. So the adjustments is something I look for in any ball mount, but this one's really kind of unique because it gives you two different ball sizes. It'll give us a clevis and a pencil hook option to hook up to. So if you're someone who just always is driving other people's trailers around, whether you're just hauling goods or whatever it is, it's just always nice having a ball mount that can pretty much tackle anything. There's one other ball size that this one doesn't carry, but this is more of a heavy duty type ball mount because it has such a large capacity. So this really hits all those points for me, it has enough, enough adjustments and it can fit so many different trailers. So I think this is gonna be a great option for you. And again, this was the Kurt adjustable clevis and pencil hook ball mount. And I'm Adam at the trailer